Quite a show last night, thunder and lightning as an unusual spring storm hits the valley, causing downed trees, leaving thousands in the dark. And today, the cleanup continues. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning us in. I'm Ken Malloy. And I'm Catherine Herr. We have live team coverage tonight. Chief Meteorologist Marina Jurica is standing by. But first, CBS 47's Alexa Bertola checked in with Fresno Public Works about the damage. Alexa. Public Works tells me that they received more than two dozen calls and their number one call was for downed trees. Now they also told me that as far as going out, crews cleaning up, the last time they did this was in February. The thunder roared. It was quite an experience, right? And lightning illuminated the night sky. Viewer photos and video flooded our newsroom. It was like all of a sudden. Bridget Bruno captured this right outside her Fresno home. I took slow-mo videos right here and in my backyard, but you could see like the lightning bolts like really nicely. Just after 10 Thursday evening, the call started pouring in to the city of Fresno Public Works. Thankfully, uh, the majority of them uh, were trees that either uh, came down across part of a roadway or a sidewalk uh, without any damage beyond beyond the tree itself. One tree slammed into this car, damaging it. More than 10,000 PG&E customers in the Central Valley were left in the dark. Public Works worked early into Friday morning. More calls came in once people started waking up. At the Business Star Transfer Company on M Street in Fresno, the howling winds Friday morning caused their swamp cooler to fall, hitting a meter, causing a gas leak. PG&E was on scene. <laughs> Elsewhere, Sierra High School in Prather was hit by winds. Down trees and limbs scattered around campus. Students jumping in to help. Our chief meteorologist says rain coupled with thunder and lightning in spring is an anomaly. I was a little shocked. And if anyone has a concern about a tree, you're encouraged to contact the city of Fresno. You can do that by phone or their app. For now, live in Fresno, I'm Alexa Bertola for CBS 47 Eyewitness News.